Did you know that not all breast cancer patients will be needing surgery right away? Today, we'll be talking about other treatment modalities in breast cancer like chemotherapy, targeted therapy and hormonal therapy which help in treating breast cancer inside out. Hi, I'm Dr. Sadvik, Head of the Department Medical Oncology at Arit Hospitals, Gachiboli, Hyderabad. What happens after a diagnosis of breast cancer? So immediately after a diagnosis, you should not rush into a surgery. You have to first find out what is the type of your breast cancer and what is the stage of the disease. So to know what is the type of your breast cancer, there is a test called immunohistochemistry called IHC. So this will tell you how aggressive is your breast cancer and whether do you need surgery right away or do you need some kind of a chemotherapy or a targeted therapy to help shrink the tumor before proceeding to the surgery. What is systemic therapy in breast cancer? So there are two types of treatment for breast cancer. One is your local therapy which can be either a surgery or radiotherapy and then other thing is called systemic therapy. So why is it called systemic therapy? Because the medicines what we are giving to treat breast cancer, it acts on the entire body. And why is it needed to act on the entire body is because once a tumor starts growing, it can start spreading microscopically via blood to various other organs. So when you do a surgery or radiation, you are only able to remove the cancer cells which are visible to the eye. These microscopic cells cannot be removed by surgery or radiation. So that is where the systemic therapy steps in and tries to find out these microscopic cells in your body and starts to kill them. So that in future, you do not have your cancer recurrence. Coming to the types of systemic therapy, you have your chemotherapy, then targeted therapy, then hormonal therapies and immunotherapy. Chemotherapy are medicines which help in killing your cancer cells. But the problem with chemotherapy is, apart from killing the fast multiplying cancer cells, they also tend to kill some of the healthy cells which are fast multiplying. So that is why you have your traditional side effects with chemotherapies. Then there is something called targeted therapies. So the name itself implies targeted therapies means they go and target a specific mutation which has happened in the cancer cells because of which the cancer is growing so aggressively. So by targeting that particular mutation, you are only able to kill the cancer cells directly and also to protect the healthy cells, thereby reducing the side effects of treatment. Hormonal therapy. So hormonal therapy plays a very vital role in breast cancer treatment because majority of the breast cancers, around 75% of them have a hormone receptor positivity. This means any estrogen hormone in your body helps the cancer cells to grow, multiply and also come back in the future. So that is why by these hormonal therapies what they do is they cut the hormone levels in your body and also they reduce inhibit the hormone receptors on the cancer cells thereby giving a prolonged protection against breast cancer. Finally immunotherapy. How immunotherapy works is it helps the body's own immune system in identifying cancer cells as an abnormal cell and then it goes and attacks the cancer cells and kills them. A lot of patients are worried about the side effects of chemotherapy. So they keep asking that is chemo absolutely necessary in breast cancer, especially if the breast cancer is diagnosed at a very early stage. So if you have a breast cancer patient who is stage 1 or early stage 2, then there are certain genetic tests that can be done on the breast cancer tissue. Why these tests are done is they help determining whether the breast cancer is very aggressive or not. So based on these test reports, we can predict what is the chance of the breast cancer coming back in the future. If the risk of the breast cancer coming back in the future is very low, then you can avoid chemotherapy very safely. But if the risk of breast cancer coming back is high based on these tests, then you cannot avoid chemotherapy and chemotherapy has to be taken. Breast cancer treatment has been fast evolving and now there are many patients who are surviving for long and thriving. The key to this has been awareness, early detection and a right treatment plan. If you or your loved ones have any queries regarding breast cancer, please reach out to us at Arid Hospitals.